Former presidential candidate has told off President Museveni's son, that is Muhozi Kainerugaba, that he will not be the next president of Uganda, come what may. Wait, I'm gonna tell you who said that statement. Now, in other news, you guys please pray for His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine. Otherwise, the news I have right now on the Buzz UG is not really good news. I'm gonna tell you the latest I have on the Buzz UG. Well, in other news, uh, Ugandan medical doctors have been left speechless after assured by President Museveni that there is no salary increment they are demanding for. Well, thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. And in case you haven't, kindly do subscribe and also do tap on the bell for all the notifications. So let me start with this security alert going out to Bobby Wine. Now, the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, has been warned not to make a mistake of being hosted on any TV or radio station right here in Uganda. Now, according to the news that's coming in from Fred Kajubi Lumbia's camp, some journalists in some media stations right here in the country have been bribed to poison His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine. Now, Bobby Wine has also been warned and his family not to use the outside toilet if he has one at home. Well, there you go. That is coming in from Fred Kajubi Lumbuye's camp. It should be remembered that this guy has said some things in this country and they have come to pass. So definitely you cannot take his warnings for granted. I hope that Bobby Wine has received this warning very well and clear. Well, in other news, former presidential candidate in the 2021 elections, that is Joseph Kabuleta, has said Mohonzi Kanerugaba should take a chill pill and relax. Otherwise, he's not going to be allowed to succeed on the mission he's chasing of becoming the next president of Uganda. Now, Joseph Kabuleta says, yes, Mohonzi Kanerugaba has a right to stand for any political position like any other Ugandan, but he's not going to be enthroned as if Uganda is a monarchy. I'm not an, the things that I wrote, everybody knows. Only they have not been put out there. These are, this is public knowledge. No, the thing is that I do not believe it is the right move. I never will. Let me tell you, he has a right like everybody else to stand. Nobody has denied that. Um, uh, what he doesn't have is a right to be enthroned as a, 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 hered a hereditary ruler. Uh, what, what I'm saying that if he goes out there and goes and campaigns and gets voted, so be it. What I was trying to say, Kabuleta is never going to be one of those who support him or vote for him. It is never going to happen and I have that right. Well, it should be remembered that late last year, at the launch of his political party that he called National Economic Empowerment Dialogue, Joseph Kabuleta said the citizens of this country cannot allow Mohozi Kanerugawa to rule this country because Uganda, we are not a kingdom and we are not cows to be inherited. Now, in his own words, he said, we can't have that boy rule this country. Uganda is not a kingdom. We are not cows to be inherited. If he wants to inherit, let him inherit his father's cows. Uganda is not his father's estate. Now, that is Joseph Kableta, former presidential candidate, making it clear that General Mohozi Kanerugaba cannot be the head of this country, Uganda, come what may. Now, in other news, in the recent times, Ugandan medical doctors have gone on strikes, not once or twice, but for some good times. And these people have been complaining about poor pay. They want their salaries to be increased to a certain percentage. Now, President Museveni, while addressing Ugandans on Labor Day, he said that a doctor who goes on strike is actually not a doctor, but an enemy of Ugandans, and he will be treated as an enemy because he's not going to allow that nurses. These soldiers who have been standing here in the rain when you are sitting there in the sheds, they have been fighting, working for either no pay or low pay. Why do they never, why do they never go on a strike? A doctor who, who goes on a strike is not a doctor. He's an enemy of our people and we shall treat him as such. In fact, I was restrained after. I wanted to, do, uh, to, to, to go back to the bush, but some people... I therefore don't want to hear that nonsense. 
we the freedom fighters have been i have been working for uganda for the last 58 50 almost 55 years either for no pay or for low pay but i'm here i heard some people talking nonsense me the headmaster i will get a smaller pay than the science teacher now that's very bad for my status i am the president of uganda i get a low pay president of uganda gets 3.6 million shillings authority does not depend on salary I have authority, although I'm paid a raw pay. I am the president of Uganda. Well, that is President Museveni. You can hear him emphasize that statement, I'm the president of Uganda. I think this time around, he's very angry. I don't know what doctor's going to do next, but that's what is coming in from President Museveni's camp, and I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG. Well, in other news... Uh, yesterday it was World Press Day and in Uganda right here we all know that the rights of journalists have been abused especially by Uganda police. Now the Inspector General of Police that is Martins Okoth Ochola said they don't support any type of mistreatment on journalists and that they are doing all they can to make sure that all their officers are trained and know what to do. Ebikolwanga okutataga nye mirimu ya banda maulire a oku okubati satisa okubakanga vula okubanya kula ko kamera zaabwe ebikolwa bino byonna tubivumirira era tukoze kinene nnyonga ekitongole kya police okulabanga abina ebikoma ebikolwa bino ebyoku tigomya banda maulire ebikoma ekitongole kya fe kya police cheyongera okutendeka no kufurumya abasirikale naye buli lwetu furumya abasirikale mubera mu okubayigiriza emirimu ya banna mawulire ne nkolagana ngawe ino kubera wakati wa police ne banna mawulire era kino kiyambye kinene nnyo 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 okendeza ebikolwa ebyokusomozebwa now, it should be remembered that this same IGP saying doesn't support beating journalists. Last year, he said they will not stop beating or manhandling journalists for their own safety, and he will never apologize for doing so. When we tell a journalist, please don't go there. You are insisting you want to go and get the news there. That's what happens. Cooperate with us. We need you. We need you. You need us. Yeah? It is not that we are targeting the media. No, we are trying to protect your lives. We are telling you there's a danger there. For you are insisting you must go where there's a danger. Yes, we, will, we shall beat you for your own sake to help you understand that you don't go there. Yes, we shall use reasonable force to ensure that you don't go where there's a risk. That's what I, I, I have no apology. Actually, you are saying, is the police apologizing for mishandling journalists? My answer is, I'm very sorry, excuse me, we shall not apologize. There you go, that is Mr. Martins Okoth Ochola, the Inspector General of Police right here in Uganda. Now, relatedly, in other news, uh, yesterday, the Katikiro of Buganda, that is Charles Peter Maiga, also condemned the beating and manhandling of journalists. He said journalists who have been brutalized by these security officers must get justice in the courts of law. Well, there you go. That is Mr. Charles Peter Maiga, the Katikiro of Buganda Kingdom. Uh, those are some of the stories I have for you right here on the Buzz UG. I'll definitely keep you posted on everything coming up in the country. Uh, what you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. I did tell you that you got the buzz, you got everything. Thank you.